Sunday, March 23, 2014. This is a Mercedes diesel guy, and this is my 1983 Mercedes 240 diesel. As of today, I am done patching up the floor and the inner rocker. Uh, as you can see, there are no more large gaping holes here. Now, I, uh, this weekend I finished riveting, riveting in place and then uh, doing some welding around the seams of these final inner patches. So between the rivets and the welds I'm confident that they're going to stay in place and that they're pretty strong. And I have covered everything in primer now. Uh, next time I get out here, once the primer's dry, I actually have to seam seal all the repairs. And once that's done I am going to be tossing some uh, bed liner over all of this and the rest of the floor on the inside here. So, not much else to report today. I um, actually would have liked to get a little more welding on these inner patches, but I'm not really worried about it because there's a lot of rivets in addition to the welds. And um, the problem was I really just ran out of welding wire. So, uh, as such, I'm actually going to be calling it an early day today because uh, in order to move forward with this, I would actually need the welder because I still have one more patch on the rear passenger side jack point that I need to take care of. And in order to do that, um, I mean, the patch is already uh, riveted onto the body. I just need to reinforce it with some welds. So that's uh, nearly all for the passenger side of the car. can't believe I've been working on this uh, for over a year now, but as you've seen, I've just had numerous interruptions. Uh, had to do the head gasket job on the van again, had to do a whole bunch of work on my daily driver, on my wife's daily drivers, so uh, I just have been continually interrupted. But lately, I've been able to do quite a bit of work on the Mercedes here. So I'm going to get out here next week. Um, hopefully, I can get out here even during the evenings this week to finish off the seam ceiling and maybe even get the uh, bed liner down and then I will weld that patch on the uh, rear passenger jack point and then I am pretty much almost done with the uh, passenger side of the car before I turn the car around of course I do want to I do want to patch the rear um, wheel housing lip and also finally repair the hood spring perch on the passenger side of the car. But uh, slowly but surely this car is coming together. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy. Thanks for watching.